In this video, we'll talk about the Python math module. Modules are collections of modules are libraries created by various people. These modules contain collections of functions functions useful for various tasks. For example, there are modules that you can use for machine learning, data analysis and financial stuff. They, for each task there are different modules created by various people. When you attach those modules for your program you can use the functions in those modules without knowing the inner working of the function. It's like buying something something from the store. If you know the input and the output of the function, you can use the function without worrying about how it's operate. So it's like when you are doing something, you buy various equipment from store you don't know exactly how the inner working of the equipment but you know how to use it okay then you can use it so same way once you attach a library to your program you can use the functions and constants in that library if you know what they are you don't need to know the inner working about of the functions okay so Python math module is a library created by python creators it contains useful mathematical functions and constants once you attach the library to your program you can use these functions okay so these are some of the functions that in the math module okay so in this video we will discuss how to attach a library to your program and how to use once you attach how to use the functions inside that library also you will learn how to create one of your own libraries okay so this is a useful video because most of the power of python comes because of the various libraries created by different people so you need to know how to import a library to your program to for use it okay so here we will discuss that so to sorry about so if you search math module here if you search math module in google python math module you get this first one the python docs one okay so if you go to python docs help page you can see all the list of all the math modules and their expected input and their output okay so you can see like for example factorial function like that okay so it tells the factorial function return n as a integer raises value is if not integral or negative so this n of the factorial should that the thing we input to the function should be a integer otherwise it will return an error okay so by reading each of these functions you can identify what they are doing okay most of them are uh, familiar functions for math people okay so like factorial sign cos and those like those functions okay so we will go to spider and see how to import a library, math library for a program and also we'll see how to create a 
your own library okay okay so here there is a this one I will delete it automatically deleted the created one okay so this is a comment we don't have to worry about that right now uh, okay so now uh, to import the map attach a map library to your program you use import keyword okay this import keyword you use import keyword and math okay once you do this you have imported the math library okay so now when you call uh, libraries from this one uh, import libraries from this one uh, you have to use math dot operator okay you have to say math and dot operator so let us uh, import the square root function okay before that we will get an integer from user so to we we'll use that integer to find the square root okay so I will say n equals I will say enter an integer and then I will leave put a scroll and then leave a space okay and then next one I will say answer equal to map soon as I do dot you can see list of functions okay like uh, inverse uh, tan this a tan is inverse okay a tan is inverse like uh, this is inverse cos so like that i will go factorial okay n so it will find the factorial of n okay let's do I will do string. I will say same level unless inside the if loop or a for loop or a function I don't change the indentation okay let's run it enter an integer let's enter 3 we know the factorial of 3 is 6 no oh okay so this is a string object I keep forgetting okay it's very important to convert into int sorry about that okay int 1 and here close it ok enter an integer ok so let's enter 3 factorial of 3 is 6 ok so if we want a bigger one let's say 6 
factorial of 6 is 720 okay so this is how to use math function also okay math function also contains constant such as pi and exponential value of exponential okay so I will say it's to get that value we have to use math dot math dot pi okay so this gives you the value of pi okay so this assign p equals math dot pi okay so now Okay, now you know pi is a uh, rational number so if it is given as a decimal one uh, pi is a irrational number if it's given as a decimal one we can give only approximation okay so this is a approximated value of pi so we will say Approximated value of pi is this one. See, okay, so it's an approximated value. So, this is how you will use a library. You can say import math, and then you can say math dot factorial like this n or something like this okay or if you want to use a constant you can do just give the constant here okay so if you are getting tired of typing math all the time you can give it a name okay you can say as m or something okay so if I say this m here instead of math I can use m still the program will work now you have to only say m okay so if you say m dot m and use the dot operator we call this dot it will show all the functions in math again see okay so this is when you have a long name if you don't want to type that name you can say as and give a name you like here okay now we run enter the integer let's say 10 it gives the factorial value of 10 and the pi see okay so this is how you will import a library okay 
so let's say how to create a library let's see how to create a, your own library okay so we don't know how to create our function still so I will show you how to uh, include a value in the library okay let's see how to include the pi value in the library okay so for that we go for a new program so this is going to be my library okay so we will save this somewhere I'll say save as okay I will go for documents this um, let's see uh, let's see there is a folder called test okay in documents okay when you creating libraries there is one important rule uh, I'll go to document okay you can save it in any directory the library but your function uh, your the program you are importing the library have to be in the same library okay otherwise you have to give the path to your file okay so this one I will say my map my math okay I will say my math dot pi okay my math dot pi okay my math dot pi and I will save it and here I will say value of we will use capital PI Okay, value of pi equals this okay and let's save it okay let's so this is the value just to identify this one from the value of math I will add some trees okay this is not the correct value but I added some trees so you can identify we are calling this value not the value in math library okay now we'll save it and I'll go for a new file and here I will import this file it says untitled one I will have to save in the same library okay same file so I'll go it's in test untitled python I save I entitled yes because I previously tested this okay so now I will say in for what my see it's showing as in okay now trying to type other keywords okay my math as m now enter it okay now I would say p equals m dot pi okay so these are things automatically get attached to a library we will talk about those later okay my lab okay now I assign the value of that pi into this then I will say print I will use a string again I 
don't know how to print the pi sign well in uh, Python. Okay, I think in Julia you can. I don't know in the Python whether we can. Okay, I'm looking to it and let you know a uh, value of pi in my Mac module is p okay now let's see now let's run this one see you can see okay we don't get that attack streets okay let's see why maybe let's open okay by after that I should get these three values let me say say we'll close it my mod value is p reloaded modules I know because it's um, loading it for the second time Oh, okay this is because of printing okay because this is maximum value I'm printing uh, okay let me change that okay because it's the maximum value I'm printing that's why it's not showing the trace okay it's beyond the range where we here we'll go to this one and here I will change this to a four point so we can see that this in the correct value okay because after three it's not showing after this one in the printing okay so I'll close this one now let this run this one see four okay so it's calling the value in my MATLAB now you can see it's calling the value in my math library okay it's don't showing that three after this one because I'm printing out of range okay those three are out of range of the printing is print only up to this decimal space so you saw how to create how to attach a library and use the constant and functions in that library as well as how to create your own library so once you learn how we only add a constant to our library but once you learn to create functions you can put all your functions in that math module okay so this is the advantage of using functions when you writing a complicated program what you can do you can break down your program into uh, specific stars and write a function for each task and put them in a library file and attach that library file to your program and call them okay that makes your main program readable also it helps you if you are writing a later program if you want to use the same function you don't have to rewrite it you can call that same library for your new program and you reuse the functions okay so this is an important lesson so we'll stop here okay see you in the next video hope this is clear